Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to simulate stepper motor using MATLAB. As we know, the stepper motor can be operated in two modes. One is full step mode, the other one is off step mode. Here the diagram shows, this is the circuit diagram of stepper motor. Uh, coil A, A dash, B, B dash, C, C dash. We are exciting the coil and switching on this switches 1, 2, 3 based on this table. Based on this truth table, we are going to switch on the uh, switches and we are going to excite the coil. In full step operation, when we excite coil A, A dash, the teeth of the rotor 1 and 3 is aligned with the stator teeth 1 and 4. When we excite B, B dash, it turns around 30 degree from its initial position and it is aligned, the rotor teeth aligned with the stator teeth, the rotor teeth 2 with 3 and 4 with 6. If we excite coil C, then again it moves from this position to the next position now it is aligned, the rotor teeth 1 and 3 is aligned with the stator teeth 2 and 5. If we excite again coil A, A dash, so it will turn again this 4 to stator teeth 1, this 2 to stator teeth 4. In off step operation, first we excite A, A dash coil. A, A dash and next step we are exciting A, A dash and B, B dash together. So this makes not 30 degree, it makes 15 degree of rotation. And now we are exciting coil B only, we are switching off the switch that is connected to A, A dash and make only B, B dash excited. Uh, so now it makes another 15 degree rotation. Here the truth table shows first A, second A, B, coil A and B, third step coil B only, fourth step coil B and C, fifth step coil C, again sixth step we come to the initial point A, C, and A. So totally for each step we are making 15 degree of operation. In off step we are getting 15 degree of rotation for each time we are applying the pulse to the switches. So here A, here A B, here B, B C, C, A C, again A. For my simulation, I am going to use MATLAB Simulink. I am selecting a blank model. I have to use stepper motor. Here, this is the stepper motor. Here we have to give the torque input, load torque. Time being we assume the motor is running at no load. Here it is a two phase motor. Here we want to use variable reluctance stepper motor. So for variable reluctance the number of phases it starts from 3, 4, 5. We select 3. So here the winding inductance, minimum winding inductance, resistance, step angle. So what is the step angle you want to simulate? You can give the value here. Here I am selecting 3 phases. A plus A minus is a coil 1. B plus B minus is a coil 2, C plus and C minus is a coil 3. Now we are going to connect 
to his supply I want to select 25 volts so I want to connect all A plus B plus C plus together connected to positive terminal of the battery then from A minus to switch 1 ideal switch switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 since we are using 3 faces we have to go select 3 switches yes the connections are given as per the circuit diagram Now we have to give the firing pulse to this uh, switches pulse generator first pulse generator amplitude 1 time period 3 duty cycle we want to select 33.33 time period 3.33 delay time of phase delay of 1 second is delay of two seconds now we connect a scope to check all the inputs Here the output of this uh, uh, stepper motor is voltage per phase, current per phase, speed, torque and the step angle. Here we want to visualize only the step angle. We will connect a DMAX. Here the DMAX output is 5. In this we are going to visualize only the step angle. Now we can run our simulation and we can see what is the pulse that is produced to operate the switches and what is the step angle we get here here the step angle we have selected here is 30 degree before we run our simulation we have to convert the angle step angle radian into degree so for that we have to put a gain gain block to convert radians into angle on 80 
divided by pi. So now we can run our simulation for 10 second time duration. We can check the pulse duration. Here how the pulse, here the pulse, here the magnitude is 1. Here the it is a pulse applied to phase A, phase B and phase C. Again phase A, phase B and phase C. It is repeating sequentially in the order of A, B, C. Now we can check our step angle here. So what is the step angle? So actually we are simulating this stepper motor for 30 degree. So now we can check here 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. For the fifth step, first step 30, 60, 90, 120 and 150 degree of rotation. Now we continue our simulation for half step. For half step we have to change the firing pulse here. So the duration is 6 seconds time period. So I have to select 50 percentage pulse width. Second one is same 6 seconds. Pulse width 50. Phase delay is 2. Third one, same 6. 50 percentage. Here it is minus 2. Delay. Now we can run our simulation uh, for same 30 degree. Now we will check the pulse. Here phase A and C is on together. Then only phase A is on. Again phase A and phase B on. Here phase B only on. Here phase B and C is on. Here phase C is alone on. Again it starts A and C. So in the same sequence the pulse is repeating A, C, A, a, B, 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 C, C and again A, C. In this sequence the pulse are repeating in the same order to run our stepper motor for off step. Now we will can check the step angle. Here the step angle is. Now we can identify the step angle is 15. 30, 45, 60 and 70 or 5. From this tutorial we can learn and understand the operation of our stepper motor using MATLAB. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries put it in the comment box. Thank you for your time. Thank you.